This is General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper, a formidable modular reconnaissance and strike UAV. Today, we're diving into the world of this unmanned aerial vehicle. So, let's get started. The MQ-9 Reaper is an evolution of the MQ-1 Predator, designed for close air support. It is utilized by the United States Armed Forces, the Royal Air Force, and several other forces across the world. The Reaper is larger and more capable than its predecessor, making it a formidable force. This beast boasts impressive specs. With a wingspan of 20.12 meters, a length of 10.97 meters, and a height of 3.80 meters, the MQ-9 Reaper commands attention. It has an empty mass of 2,223 kilograms and a maximum takeoff mass of 4,763 kilograms. The MQ-9 Reaper is equipped with the reliable and powerful Honeywell TPE331 turboprop engine, which typically produces between 900 to 1,100 shaft horsepower. With this remarkable power, the MQ-9 Reaper soars through the skies, achieving a maximum cruising speed of 482 kilometers per hour. But that's not all. The MQ-9 Reaper also packs a punch with its lethal armament. It carries four AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-ground missiles and two GBU-12 Paveway-2 laser-guided bombs as standard. This firepower can be customized with additional options like AIM-9 Sidewinder, GBU-38J Dam, and there are plans to incorporate the GBU-39 SDB. The MQ-9 Reaper is an undeniable force on the battlefield. Now, let's explore its cutting-edge sensor suite. The MQ-9 Reaper is equipped with the Multispectral Targeting System, or MTS. This system combines an infrared sensor, color and monochrome day camera, shortwave infrared camera, laser distance indicator, laser target illumination system, and radar. Together, these sensors provide unmatched visibility day and night, enabling the drone to detect targets even in hidden bunkers. When discussing the MQ-9 Reaper, our focus typically centers on the drone. However, it's essential to recognize that the drone is merely a component within the remotely controlled aircraft system. The MQ-9 Reaper system encompasses multiple interconnected elements, including a drone with sensors and weapons. It also involves a Predator primary satellite link enabling communication, support systems, a ground control station acting as the command center, and a qualified team of operators. The main crew comprises an operator who commands the device and an assistant responsible for weapons and sensor operations. The AGM-114 Hellfire is an air-to-ground missile first developed for anti-armor use, later developed for precision drone strikes against other target types, especially high-value targets. The AGM-114 Hellfire missile can be equipped with a variety of warheads, depending on the target. The most common warhead is the high-explosive warhead, which is designed to penetrate armor and cause blast damage. The GBU-12 Paveway-2 is a laser-guided bomb, based on the MK-82 500-pound general-purpose bomb, but with the addition of a nose-mounted laser seeker and fins for guidance. The GBU-12 Paveway-2 filled with 192 pounds of tritonal explosive. Tritonal is a mixture of TNT and aluminum powder that is very effective at creating blast and fragmentation damage. The GBU-38J Dam, Joint Direct Attack Munition, is a guidance kit that converts unguided bombs, or dumb bombs, into all-weather precision-guided munitions. The GBU-38J Dam is a tail kit that is installed on existing general-purpose bombs, such as the MK-82 and MK-84. The tail kit contains an inertial navigation system and a global positioning system guidance control unit. The GBU-39 small diameter bomb is a 250 pound or 113 kilogram precision guided glide bomb that is intended to provide aircraft with the ability to carry a higher number of more accurate bombs. The AIM-9 Sidewinder is a short range, heat seeking, air to air missile. The Sidewinder is a small, lightweight missile that is carried on fighter aircraft. It has a range of up to 10 miles and can reach speeds of up to Mach 2.5.
The missile's guidance system uses an infrared seeker to track the heat signature of its target. The MQ-9 Reaper holds a prominent position as the United States Air Force's leading unmanned attack aircraft at present. Boasting impressive endurance, it offers extended loiter time, advanced long-range sensors, versatile multi-mode communications equipment, and precision weaponry. These exceptional features equip it with a distinctive capability to effectively engage elusive and time-sensitive targets.